Are you secretly an Intel fanboy? Have you been dying to build an Intel Arc gaming PC but you're not sure if things are quite stable yet? Do not fret, the Bangsa one is here. Today we're going to check out the Glue Intel Arc Gaming PC Set C, aka the Intel Fanboy Gaming PC, with an i5-13400F and an Intel Arc A750 GPU priced at 3499 ringgit. We're going to talk about gaming benchmarks including Diablo 4, productivity benchmarks for content creation, as well as test just how much of a difference the newer drivers are making compared to launch drivers to see if you should actually consider buying this in July. 2023. Actually, get it. To be honest, whenever a retailer sends over a gaming rig for me to check out, I'm always gonna be a little skeptical about what they actually put into these things. At first glance, thankfully, it seems like the guys at Glue actually know their stuff. In line with the cost-friendly nature of the ARC A750, especially considering the new price drop, uh, Glue has made some reasonable choices with this build. They went with a B660 motherboard with DDR4 because DDR5 is more mahal, stuck with the stock cooler with the i5-13400F which does the job just fine, uh, but we are at least getting 16GB of RGB RAM and 512GB of PCIe Gen 4 storage. As well as a 650 watt 80 plus bronze PSU which is a little overkill but still nothing wrong with a little future proofing in case you want to upgrade your GPU in the future uh, the PC will also come pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro all the parts look legit no dodgy chop ayam stuff a pretty good value for your money bang for your buck ring for your ring it Full disclaimer, like I said, Glue did send this PC over for me to check out, but as usual, I, as a bangsawan, reserve my right to an unbiased opinion. On top of that, to form a genuine opinion about whether or not I would actually recommend this PC for you guys, I've used it for the past 30 days for gaming as well as video editing and color grading. So if you still want to pick up this PC after watching this video, feel free to go to the Glue concept store in Plaza Laoyat and tell them that bangsawan Shane from Mob House sent you. If they don't know who is that, just show them this video la. Firstly, let's take a look at gaming. Uh, in case you're not up to date with current events, the TLDR is that the Intel Arc GPUs did not have the smoothest launch, but since then, Intel has been relentless with releasing uh, drivers after drivers to improve the product. Look, I'm your father. There has been a whopping 10 driver update since Intel Arc A750 launched in October last year. That's more than one driver a month. More frequent than you calling your mother. Even Tech Jesus Steve praised them for actually making significant improvements four months back. The most obvious improvement that you'll notice is with older games running on DX9 like CSGO. The weird stuttering issues due to fluctuations in frame time is gone as far as I can see. DX9 support was supposed to be a token feature from Intel, mainly because they haven't been making GPUs that long like Team Green and Red, but they've decided to beef it up after listening to consumer feedback. Doom Eternal, which runs on Vulkan, also saw a 53% jump in frame rate for 1080p, though 1440p is pretty much the same. RE4 Remake, which runs on DX12, saw plus minus 50% more frames in both 1080p and 1440p. Extra demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, which also runs on DX12, is now at least playable in 1440p Ultra with close to 60 frames per second. We also tested other games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Horizon Zero Dawn, Dying Light 2, and Death Stranding, all of which has promising numbers even in 1440p at the highest settings. Diablo 4, which is the game that I've been running on this rig for the past 30 days, runs pretty great. And as you can see with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the A750's ray tracing performance is also decent, especially with XESS, which is Intel's version of uh, AI super sampling. With an older title like this, you can even get away with 1440p. For more demanding and newer titles like Cyberpunk, I wouldn't go above 1080p with ray tracing on. Overall, looking at pure rasterization, as shown in our 3D mark test, it now performs better than both 
both the RTX 3060 and RX 6600 XT, which are both way older and slightly more expensive even today, which makes it pretty good value for money for 1080p as well as 1440p gaming if you're not shooting for 100 plus FPS. Of course, these days, one of the reasons you might consider building a PC is for productivity tasks like content creation. Looking at Puget Band scores, the Intel RA750 performs neck in neck with the 3060 and 6600 XT. I've mostly used it for color grading in the past month, and I can say that it does pretty decent for the price. Just keep your expectations managed because it's not like one of those newer cards uh, from both Team Green and Red. It, it's fine. And finally, I've also tested Cinebench to show you how that i5-13400F performs with the stock cooler. Upgrading the cooler will probably squeeze another few percent of performance out of it, uh, but it seems to perform within parameters. Overall, I give this Glue Intel Arc Gaming PC set C, sexy, aka the Intel Fanboy Gaming PC, a solid hashtag cheap buy. It out of 10. Sure, the Intel Arc A750 is far from perfect, but a lot of the issues that we were facing at launch has been largely addressed. And looking at how frequent they are updating the drivers, I can only assume that things are gonna get better. To be honest, like, if this was a mid-range or high-end gaming PC, 5,000 ringgit, 10,000 ringgit, 20,000 ringgit, then it might be a different story. But for 3499, why not support the underdog, you know, and create more competition in the GPU market because it can only help us consumers win. Ah, make them fight for our money. Man. Then they will make better products at cheaper prices. I also don't know. And that is everything I have to say about this PC. Huh? If you want to pick it up, go to Glue Concept Store in Plaza Laoya and buy it because you cannot buy it online. I don't know why, but I guess they want you to touch it before you take it home, which is what you guys said you prefer anyways with PC parts. So, yeah. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out on more content like this. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane. You can follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram to see more shenanigans from me and my crew. Ah. And I will see you in the next one.